sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana. Earlier today, a group of Tanga Tanga leaders were in Nyeri town for their campaigns. And the kind of reception they found there, or rather the way they were received there, maybe is something they never expected. So I want you to have a look at this clip of what transpired today in Nyeri. After which, as usual, we are going to dissect it and see exactly what it means politically. So if in case you've just bumped on this YouTube channel for the very, very first time, kindly subscribe, give this video a like. Give it a like, please. Thank you. God bless you. Let's have a look at this clip. From that clip, you can see that there is a shouting match between Raila and Uhuru supporters against William Ruto supporters, Uda supporters. So it seems to appear that things might be changing on the mountain. There are those who have started now identifying themselves with Raila and even with Uhuru Kenyatta. And there are those who are still aligning themselves to Uda. And from that clip again, I was a little bit <laughs> uh, amazed because I could hear some people there talking ODM. Mm. Yani they, are, they, they have started identify them, identifying themselves with ODM party. So what does that mean politically? That's our analysis. Yes. There was an opinion poll, though largely I don't believe in opinion polls in Kenya because largely... They are always influenced. But there was an opinion poll done that rated the popularity of Raila Amolo Odinga and William Ruto in Mount Kenya. Yes. That was after Raila's first forays on the mountain. And it found out that Raila's popularity had grown to about 27%. And William Ruto's popularity was around 50, I think around 55 53 percent there. That was just after one week that Raila had toured the mountain. So from the way things look, ladies and gentlemen, and as someone who has been really following politics very keenly, political events in this country, without taking sides here, and you will largely agree with me on this, that as, as things stand today, it seems to appear, and it's very, very clear, 
that Raila Odinga is most definitely rising on the mountain. His popularity is growing in Mount Kenya. That's a given fact, ladies and gentlemen. And it's also a given fact that William Ruto's popularity is steadily, steadily but surely declining on the mountain. That's also a given fact. But now, ladies and gentlemen, let's look at it this way. William Ruto has been campaigning on the mountain since 2013. Let me just put it since 2013. Because since 2013, when Uhuru made it clear to the residents of the mountain that Kumiyake Kumiya Ruto, I think the mountain people, residents of Mount Kenya, started identifying themselves with William Ruto. That has been since 2013. But now just have a look at this scenario here. Raila has a handshake with Uhuru Migai Kenyatta. And even Uhuru Kenyatta has not come out in public very boldly to state that he supports Raila Molo Odinga. It's only his close associates who are actually pushing a Raila Amolo Odinga candidate. But you can see for yourself the kind of inroads that maybe Raila has already made out of that alone. And I'm one person who has always maintained, ladies and gentlemen, and I still repeat this, and I will repeat it, God willing, till the day of the election. I'm seeing a situation where most likely Raila Molo Odinga will win the mountain vote. And Raila Odinga will win the mountain vote because of two things, only two things. The first thing is because Raila Molo Odinga, the mere fact that Uhuru Kenyatta whether in private or to, through whichever means, supports Raila Molo Odinga, that means that Mount Kenya Kingpins supports Raila Molo Odinga. And our politics is largely ethnic-based. Ethnic-based. So if you look at the bigger picture, most definitely Raila will win the mountain vote because of the assumed, assumed or perceived endorsement from President Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta. That is one thing that I know will make Raila beat Ruto on the mountain. The second thing that definitely will also work for Raila Amolo Odinga that will just persuade residents of Mount Kenya into voting for Raila Odinga is because of this thing called Oka. I'm of a very strong opinion that Oka most likely, almost definitely, will support Raila Amolo Odinga. Same for maybe Musalia Mudaba. But for Musalia Mudavadi, it's not a big deal because largely in Western, Raila has got, I can put it, more support than even Musalia Mudavadi. So upon now Oka throwing their weight behind Raila Molo Odinga, I tend to believe that that will create some kind of a euphoria. After which Raila Molo Odinga will also just, after also Raila Molo Odinga shall have also announced his candidature, those are events in scenarios that will also create some kind of a euphoria. And when that euphoria is be, will be created, you will agree with me again that likely that euphoria will sweep across the country. Because as things stand today, it's, it's only Mount Kenya that has been very, very hostile against Raila Molo Odinga. Largely other parts of the country, they have been supporting Raila Molo Odinga. It's only Mount Kenya that has been hostile. So as these other areas will be supporting Raila Molo Odinga and also coupled with the fact and coupled with the fact that now again Mount Kenya Kingpin will also be supporting Raila Molo Odinga. That will create a euphoria on the mountain. And this is why from where I sit, when I see people saying that William Ruto will win the mountain vote, I still don't just understand in which world they live. I still don't just understand that. It's either they're not looking at the bigger picture or maybe they're just looking at the current political situation on the mountain. The current political situation on the mountain, yes, we can say it's William Ruto, but it's a declining William Ruto, a borrowed support that has been enjoying courtesy to President Uhuru Migai Kenyatta. That support definitely will... <laughs> will Ruto will lose that support, most definitely. That support 
de definitely William Ruto will lose it. I'm saying that with a lot of confidence. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, also from that clip we have just watched, it's also very, very clear, very, very clear. I don't know whether the Tanga Tanga will say it was organized or not. I don't know what they will say about it. Mm. But whether it was organized or not, comparing that kind of a scenario to some years back, then you can now see that things are changing. Because I strongly believe again that now if maybe a few group of youths decides to heckle a popular candidate in an area, the, the majority will just silence them. But in this case where you find a candidate being heckled and then the majority are not even bothered or concerned, it simply means that maybe nobody has the, the ground as of that time. It might be a 50-50 kind of a situation. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, just as I did indicate when you were starting, if you've bumped on this YouTube channel for the very, very first time, subscribe, give this video a like. If you are watching us outside Kenya for the very first time, drop a comment, let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from. Drop a comment, please. And to our fans and subscribers here, God bless you for your continu continued support by constantly giving our videos likes, constantly dropping your comments. God bless you. And to any other person who is also a fan of ours here but you have not yet subscribed, take this opportunity, subscribe, and if possible, give this video a like. Thank you. God bless you. God bless Kenya. Tamo sana. Tamo sana.